Hi, it's Ross here from Wizards Code, and I'm excited today. I'm excited because I'm going to play with Rome Fantasy Pack 1 for the first time. I've been looking at this pack for a long time, but I've never actually bought it because I don't have a, an idea in mind for it. But yesterday I won it in a Messy Coder stream in an interview with Quantum Theory. If you're not familiar with Messi Coder, you should be. He does some excellent Twitch streams on Unity. Uh, he does interviews with publishers. He uh, does lots of YouTube videos, lots of asset reviews. Really, really good content. Check out the link below and up there. And make sure that you go subscribe to the Messi Coder. Fantastic stuff. So what is the Rome Fantasy Pack? Well, it's a fully modular system, full PBR. You can create beautiful scenes like this one. This is the demo scene. Um, but as you saw just a moment ago, and I can see now, it also has some pretty advanced shaders in it that allow you to, little, to paint decals onto uh, textures and things and really change what's going on. Um, I'm not going to look at that in this video. I want to just play with the, uh, the asset itself. So let's switch over to Unity and take a look. All right, here we are. I'm in Unity 2019.3. I have imported Quantum Theory. I've set everything up according to the instructions that appear here. So I can remove those instructions now. There's also a help canvas. You can see these help text here. I'm going to get rid of those so that we can see the scene properly. And I have dropped a simple camera controller on. It's just a simple fly controller. So let's take a look. All right, some nice smoky effects down here, but it oops, looks absolutely beautiful. I'd like some motion in the particles here, perhaps replace that with a, a fog effect that I have from uh, um, Cronect. That looks lovely. So, this is an example here of the decals that you can paint onto other surfaces. So you've got some straw uh, dotted around here. So look at that cloth up there. Oh, look at that. It's lovely specks of dirt and it's blowing in the wind here. That's lovely. Some wetness there. And the reflections don't look very good. Um, that's probably, I did bake the lighting. But there are some errors um, on the reflection probes, and I'm wondering if that's related to the errors. Uh, I have pinged the publisher on the forums to see if I have done anything wrong. Okay, some weird shadows going on there. Possibly the same problem with the reflection probes. Uh, possibly my baking of the lighting is a bit incorrect. But if we look at the, look at the scratches on the door here. Look at this, the detail is beautiful. I mentioned Messi Coder at the beginning there. This is the kind of thing that Messi does a lot of, really getting in close to things and seeing what they look like. And, and he loved this pack, and that's why I always wanted to buy it. And like I say, I'm lucky enough to have won it in his stream. Look at it, it's beautiful. Look at these. Look at those bricks. So this is all modular. Um, you can do pretty much anything you want with these uh, individual pieces. And of course you can do a lot more than just Rome. This is fantastic. Now, I said earlier on in the intro, I wasn't sure, look at that. Beautiful, real wear and tear on this. That I wasn't sure how I would use this. Well, um, if you've watched some of my other uh, videos, you might know that I have uh, have a thing for... Uh, is there an indoors? No. <laughs> uh, I have a thing for uh, orcs. And what I was thinking would be really nice is to put the some of the orcs I have into this scene and have them interacting at the stall here. Um, and just wandering around. Uh, basically, uh, um, I, I, I like to think of orcs as being um, not the violent things that you find in things like Shadows of Mordor and things like that, uh, but just people like us. Um, they're misunderstood. 
Uh, and so I like to create scenes that, that represent orcs in environments that we might be in. Looks like this would be a, a den, a little bit of uh, sea fighting here. Not sure, again, whether that's part of the problem that I have with um, with these warnings. They are warnings, they're not errors, but uh, there's definitely a few things going on here. Some nice flickering and the light there. There's no actual candle in there though the lights flickering nicely it'd be nice to have a candle flame in there i love the flickering though that's really nice i've tried to create that kind of effect myself in a script mine doesn't look as good as that i think i might take that script and put it into 3d forges assets which is where i was building my own uh my own flickering candle script it definitely needs a flame in here um but if that's if that's the only real problem i can have find apart from these issues with reflections and the odd bit of fighting um i would say that that's a pretty good first impression it's missing flames <laughs> um i just love this door not quite sure why a door would have scratches like this all over it, but I do like the effect that it has. Around the handle, maybe. You've got something in your hand, you go for the handle. Down here and, and, and up at the top, I don't know. And the rust on here is lovely. This is fantastic. So this is available in HDRP. Go out moving in the wind, lovely light, gently. Um, it is available in HDRP. This is just the uh, standard pipeline. I have yet to play with uh, with the um, high def pipeline. It's just not reliable enough yet. Let's get in there. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Is it worth the current sale price of forty two dollars fifty? Um, yes no question whatsoever is it worth the full price of 85 dollars if you need this kind of asset the modular usage that you, that you get out of this for creating different scenes yeah the textures are beautiful um, i've barely scratched the surface of what you can do with it this video that's playing in the background here is, is illustrating the decals let me fast forward a little bit to where he's actually doing some stuff so here he's painted some wetness onto this cobblestone here and now he's going to go in and he's he's just breaking up the cobblestone a bit by raising up the sand underneath or, or giving the impression of the sand being raised up underneath um so he's just breaking up the edges no straight lines over here you see and then if i fast forward a bit more now he's putting some water in you know this sort of thing you don't normally get in an asset pack like that um i haven't played with that yet if it's as good as it looks and it's as effective as it looks that makes it worth 85 dollars right the flexibility the customization you can do all this on the walls and and you can paint hay in and all of the things that we talked about in the video so so much variety available through this pack 85 dollars for something of this quality with that kind of reusability absolutely it's well worth it fantastic pack think about buying it it's an awesome asset leave me a comment let me know what you think let me know if you'd like to see anything uh, about this asset um click the links below if you're going to go buy this and most importantly subscribe to the channel bye bye